Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? Got a couple of packages in here and one of them being the uh, 12 volts uh, pump, uh, sump pump. And in addition, I also picked up a relay. Okay, so this thing goes to your 110. Here it is, just connected the uh, AC cord, right? Uh, neutral to, what is that, purple? And uh, hot with a green. Cut this uh, black lead, cut it right here. Connect one end onto the black wire, where it says right there, close position, right? And connect the other end of this black wire onto that. So hang tight. Let's get started and cut it. I right smack in the middle will be fine. Bam. Um, I cleaned up a little bit, just the cabling, right? Organized it so I uh, could uh, actually explain it clearly. So this is just a standard 12 volt pump, right? It's not automatic. You have to uh, turn it on and off manually. You got your alligator clips right there to, to be attached to the uh, battery post, right? You got the uh, negative and positive right there. And here's your on and off switch. And uh, this is off, this is on right here. So when this is energized, and a way to energize that, you see this purple cable, purple cable and a green cable. Let me back up a little bit. I connected that to a uh, power cord. I found some junk electronics and of course I, I connected it, right? Uh, the uh, green wire goes to your hot. The good thing is this cable is actually, um, you know, the, the wires are probably, properly coded, white being neutral and of course uh, the black one being hot. So that the hot one or the black uh, wire is connected to the green one. The neutral is connected to the blue. So, see this thing right here? Hang tight. Let me get the dog out of here. When this is energized, LED is on. The natural state is actually this is open, right? And when it is de-energize and where there's no power, uh, it will complete the circuit. I know it's kind of opposite, maybe not for some of you, but uh, bear with me on this one. So what I did was, see this wires right here? This is actually originally connected to each other. Let me back it up a little bit. This wire right here, it's actually used to be connected together. And of course I cut the black wire or the negative of this uh, pump and connected it to this set of wires right here, corresponding to that. So what it means is that when you have power, this will not come on, the pump will not come on. And if you lose power, and again, the idea behind of building this setup is that during power outage, Maybe you're asleep, you're away from home, and <clears throat> this will automatically uh, kick on or turn on when there's a power outage. And of course, you will not come back or wake up to a flooded basement. So this is the setup. To summarize again, negative wires from the original pump, I just cut them and of course connected it right here. Doesn't matter which way but uh, you could go on the red, uh, it doesn't matter. This is just a way to complete the circuit right here, right? And again, when this is energized, it's open. And when it's de-energized, when there's no power to it, again, I'm gonna be plugging this in. And of course, my standard uh, sump pump is connected to the same outlet. So if I get a power outage, this pump will come on, right? And that's it. Let me go ahead and uh, go to the basement, get it connected. All right, let's take a look at my uh, sump basin, right? I got a couple of them. I got a, a primary uh, pump, um, standard AC, and a secondary pump. And this is, by the way, is a one-way valve. 
and that's where I'm going to be connecting the uh, the 12 volts pump. So uh, there will be no water pumping when there's a power outage on this uh, secondary uh, pump, right? And uh, those are all check valves right there. That black one, that's a check valve. There's also a check valve right there. So um, let me get it all this. Uh, let me get them all connected. Uh, of course, the hose. I'll be using it to connect right there, and the other end will be connected into that. Uh, connected to that um, one-way valve as well. As you can see, the valve is already open, so it's good to go. And uh, let me just get it connected. I also have a uh, battery bank right here, which is uh, 70 amp hours. All right, everything's connected. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, dump this in. All right. I'll probably uh, do some additional work, right, in terms of putting it away properly and, of course, securing all of these. But for now, let me go ahead and unplug the uh, secondary pump. Here we go. I think it's this one. It's no longer on, so this will fill up, right? And now let me plug this in, and it should be energized. Let's energize that relay. There it is. There it is. It's now energized. And this battery operated pump should not come on if I turn this on. Yep, I don't hear it. So, let me kill my primary pump by unplugging it. All right, just got a power outage, right? All right, let's simulate a power outage by turning off the switch or unplugging that. And then this pump, this 12 volt pump should come on. Here we go. Let me turn it off. There it is. That's my emergency pump. My third pump, primary, backup, and of course my 12 volts, right? Once the power comes back on, it shuts the pump off. And of course, I will still have this primary plugged in and I'll be all right. This basement will remain dry. And here it is. I got a battery maintainer for it, right? So it will always be maintained. It'll be on standby. And if I get a power outage, of course that 12 volt pump will bail us out, uh, pun intended. And uh, yeah, water will get pumped and uh, this basement will not get uh, flooded. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe, click that notification bell. Chat with you guys later. Another successful project. I'll put the cover back on. We should be good. Thanks. Chat with you guys later. Bye for now.